Hello and welcome. So in this video of cargo work numericals, I am going to discuss about blocks and tackles. Before going into the numericals directly, first you need to know basic definitions and uh, the formulas uh, which can help you to solve all that new all those numericals. So first is safe working load. As its name shows, it is the stress that a component of a lifting apparatus can safely bear. Uh, in normal use so this is the safe working load now breaking stress so the stress at which the component will fracture it is known as breaking stress so fake factor of safety so factor of safety is a factor which is used to divide the breaking stress to get the safe working load so this is an important formula that you need to remember that breaking stress breaking stress is equal to safe working load multiplied by the fake factor of safety so this uh, is frequently used and you need to remember it now we will see different formulas for different types of ropes chains and uh, wire to find their uh, breaking strength or breaking stress so for ropes in ropes we have manila it is 2d square d here is the diameter of the rope 2d square by 300 you can find the breaking strength Probably propylene it is 3d square by 300 for terylene it is 4d square by 300 for nylon it is 5d square by 300 for chains the grade 1 stud, stud chain 20d square by 600 grade 2 30d square by 600 and grade 3 43d square by 600 now for wires so the wire which is having 6 strand and 12 wire per strand 15 d square by 500 6 strand and 24 wire per strand 20 d square by 500 6 strand and 37 wire per strand 21 d square by 300 so these are the basic formula formulas to find the breaking strength of um, different types of rope chain and wire so you need to remember all these formulas so that you can um, easily find out the breaking strength now we will see different types of block and purchases that also you need to remember the name and number of sheaves in these so first here is single whip so this type uh, this is known as single whip it has one sheave gun tackle it has two sheaves this is watch and love tackle it has three sheaves this is the hauling part and this is the moving block love tackle and watch tackle three sheaves now you have double or two fold purchase it has four sheaves two two sheaves on both the blocks then we have chin tackle it has five sheaves then we have three fold purchase it has six sheaves so all these you have to remember or mug up whatever you want to do just keep this in your mind because this is going to be very useful in case you are going to solve the numericals related to it if you don't remember you are just going to waste your time and you are not going to get the answers so if they are used in advantage the effort and load moves in the same direction but if you can see here effort is in this direction but load moving in this direction so this is disadvantage if uh, effort and load moves in the same direction this will be an advantage so this also you need to remember now uh, another important formula is mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage is equal to load by effort so this is mechanical advantage now velocity ratio velocity ratio is equal to velocity of effort divided by velocity of load so this is uh, this this is not directly used you just need to remember that the velocity ratio is equal to n plus 1 in case we are using in the sheaves or you can say shackles in advantage and n when used in disadvantage and here n is the number of sheaves number of sheaves 
So this you have to remember velocity ratio is equal to n plus 1 when in advantage and n when in disadvantage and n is the number of sheaves. So how to calculate the effort? So this is very important here. Effort is equal to what is effort? Effort is work done on load plus work spent in overcoming the friction. So the sheaves and the ropes are passing through it. If it is a friction, if it is frictionless, then work spent on overcoming the friction is zero. But if it is it can it has friction, then the oh, to overcome this friction we need to do some work and this is here work spent in overcoming the friction so if you want uh, to see the whole derivation thing you just need to refer some book and go to the directly to the derivation but uh, going to the formula here directly effort is equal to load multiplied by n n is the number of sheaves into load into friction percentage per sheave divided by 100 so if you want to remove the percentage you have to divide it by 100 so this is divided whole by the velocity ratio so this is the formula that you need to remember to find out the effort so now you are ready to solve numericals so we will see the numerical part in the next video thank you